you look at what's been happening since the pandemic, many wars have happened. And it has become very real that drones will be a very important part of any new conflict that has come and I think any new conflict that may come up. The objective when we began on this journey for making drones or unmanned aerial vehicles as we more like to call it, particularly happened because we were more keen and interested in helping our forces serve these situations with as much comfort and ease as they can so that they can help mitigate and save lives. To do meaningful missions, we have created Netra 5 and I think it is going to be the most future-proof product that the forces will be able to get their hands on in the short term. With Netra 5, broadly, we want our products to be far more user-friendly than our previous generation. The drone should do a lot of the job by itself and let you free up your time to do a number of other things. More and more we started listening to the customers. One thing became very clear, they wanted a platform that could adapt to any task that has the ability to take any off-the-shelf payloads and adapt itself to the needs of any particular mission. By pushing the performance metrics very high, each flight gives you a lot more outcome than an equivalent platform of that size would give you. We are giving you a product which is well tested, validated. It can sustain itself for 5,000 landing cycle. Ankit often says, we don't want our products to be party wares. We want it to be everyday wares. It should be used day in and day out extensively and the only thing that can enable that to happen is extended uh, product life that we support. Earlier, our customers either had the option of a very, very high zoom day payload or a very narrow field of view thermal payload. What we've done is we've not only combined these two, but we've added another wide angle sensor to make a multi-sensor payload completely integrated in the Netra 5. The daylight sensor is something that captures the visible spectrum of light and converts it to an image that a human can see. It also has a 30x zoom, which allows the sensor to see in full resolution from wide field of view to a smaller field of view. A thermal sensor is something that catches the uh, IR emissions of objects, something that a human eye cannot catch. It helps convert the IR emissions to a visible light spectrum, so that essentially it allows you to see in night or in low light conditions where the visible light is not enough for you to get a good image. In addition to the primary payload, we realized that there is extensive need of a wide variety of secondary payloads. There's a huge list of secondary payloads that potentially could go on to Netra 5. Rider payload will give you a 3D topographical map of all the terrain that is under the drone at point of time. So if it's a building, light would reflect at different times from the building. If there's a mountain or if there's a car, it allows you to create a map based on emitted signals rather than reflected light. SAR essentially works on different energies being reflected by different materials in different ways. So it can actually do what visible light cannot do or it can actually do what a laser cannot do. It can look through fog, it can look through the foliage of a forest, it can look through clouds. The biggest challenge has been to have so many uh, features, so many applications into the single UAV. The central body is made out of high performance materials like magnesium and carbon fiber composites, which provide an exceptional level of lightweight durability to the product. You can fold it so that you can pack into the smaller bag or backpack that makes the handling very easy from user experience perspective. Netra 5 actually has an airborne compute module which unlocks a bunch of different things. One of the interesting things is our line of interest feature. Go to the map view, draw what needs to be surveilled 
how far you need to fly from it and the drone does everything else. It's completely automated, including the payload exactly aligning its crosshair to the path that it needs to look at. We've gone even beyond with the area of interest feature. All you need to do is you have an area of interest for, let's say you need to find a missing hiker. You draw a polygon, you draw the parameters of how closely you want to comb the area and it will automatically create the flight plan for you and sweep the area in an automated fashion. We take flying out of the equation completely and we make sure that the operator's cognitive load is 100% focused on their mission. The 360 degree all weather obstacle avoidance system in Netra 5 will give that peace of mind to the operator that even though a particular structure or an obstacle may not be mapped in the terrain, the UAV will autonomously detect it and alert the user that it is unsafe to continue its mission. Any event, if we lose GPS signal, Netra 5 will be successfully able to return home safely through a feature which we call GPS Denied Return Home. We've had this uh, constant feedback from our users that if I can do a certain area coverage with one UAV, why can't we fly more UAVs at the same time so that we can you know, multiply our outputs? We kind of cater to this requirement through our multi-UAV uh, feature. We are putting this all together in the context of an automated workflow system called Flight Cloud, which will fill in the gaps between the entire process of you know, flying the UAV, collecting the data, processing it, analyzing it, and generating the outcomes for the end user. All of this is at a single click of a button in our uh, revolutionary Blue Fire Touch software, which is very easy, user-friendly, uh, and has been appreciated by our users. Blue Fire Live streaming software allows users from anywhere to access the UAV stream in real time so that they can make informed decisions based on the kind of video feed and analytics that they are getting. We built a very good hardware base platform. We built very good operating software that ensures that it works seamlessly, it is reliable, it is safe to operate. And then we allow people to innovate on it by adding more payloads to it, more capabilities to it. Netra 5 is just not a product on which idea 4 g ecosystem can add value. Netra 5 is a platform onto which the whole national and international uh, developer ecosystem can add value. That is how we have ensured that the platform is very, very adaptable and effective for a larger variety of use cases. What Netra 5 today represents is uncompromising performance. So for its class, continues to deliver very high endurances, extremely long ranges, while being able to host a variety of sensor payloads. We have ensured that it can survive, it is resilient in the field, ensuring that it can be safe in GNSS denied situations. It can be safer to operate in situations where there is active communications jamming happening. It has also been built to ensure that it can be carried very, very conveniently in the field and be deployed very quickly. The vision from the very beginning has been to build a platform that can be globally competitive, globally ahead of the curve, so that it can be used in many situations in friendly countries, friendly environments. We have thought of Netra 5 to be very much future-proof and future-ready. What all will be available with Netra 5 at launch is not the end of what all it will support. There is a full range of roadmap of features and upgrades and complementing accessories which are planned for Netra 5, which are going to extend the capability of the product and continue enhancing and making it relevant for the time to come.